Hello, I'm Rowan Shaw, and in this video we'll be looking at a few examples of trig functions. If you're having a hard time understanding trig functions, please look at the previous video. So, in the first example, we have to graph y equals 5 sine of 3x plus 4. So now, again, we have to keep in mind our a, b's, and c's. Our amplitude, meaning a, is 5, our b is 3, and our c is 4. So to graph this function, let's first look at uh, the, uh, the fact that it's a positive sine function. What we know is that it will start uh, from the center and go up. So looking at 4, that's what c is. C is the imaginary central line. It's not actually on your graph, but it's useful to sort of draw it out in the beginning. So C is 4. This is the center line, and as I said earlier, this is a positive sine function. So it will start here and go up. It will start from the center when x is 0, and it will go up from there. Now, to find the period, we have to use B. B is 3, and from the previous video, we know that the period is 2 pi over B. And since b is 3, the period will be 2 thirds pi. So this means that this function will repeat itself every 2 thirds pi unit. So when x is 2 thirds of pi, it will repeat itself for the first time. Now a is 5, meaning from the center line it goes up to 5 units uh, higher and 5 units lower. So this will be 9, and this will be negative 1. Those are the extreme values. So this is effectively the graph of the function. Now from here we could just extend it because we know it's periodic and backwards like this. Now what if we're given this example where we're actually given the graph of a function, but now we want to find its equation. So looking at here, we need to find our a, b's, and c's. So our a, amplitude, is the max minus the min divided by 2 from the previous video again. So 3 minus negative 8 divided by 2. A is 3 minus negative 8 divided by 2, meaning 3 plus 8 over 2, so that's 11 halves, which is 5.5. Now B, we know that the relationship is P equals 2 pi over B, meaning B equals 2 pi over P if you rearrange that. So what is the period? Well, we don't know how often it repeats itself here because we don't know the x value here, but we know that to take two periods, that's four x units. Well, that obviously means that one period is two x units. So p is two. So since p is two, that makes b pi because that would be two pi over two. So we know that b is pi. And finally, c is going to be the max plus the min divided by, uh, divided by two. And again, that's the fictitious imaginary central line. So in this case, the max plus min divided by 2 would be 3 plus negative 8 divided by 2. So that's effectively 3 minus 8 over 2. So that's negative 5 over 2. So that's negative 2.5. So now looking at this, uh, we pretty much have all the tools to write out the graph. All we have to look for is whether it's a positive sign, negative sign, etc. And since it starts at the min, it's a negative cosine. So negative 5.5 cosine, now b is pi, so pi x, and then our c is negative 2.5, so minus 2.5. And again, negative 2.5 is sort of the imaginary central line over here. So this is what y equals. This is the equation of that graph. You should ask your tutor to give you more advanced examples if you're still not feeling confident with this, especially ones with horizontal shifts. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video.